A Dalvin Cook trade or release has seemed imminent since the 2022 season ended, and here we are now in April, Cook still being a member of the Minnesota Vikings. Now, back in February, he had shoulder surgery from an injury, as the Vikings put it, sustained over the past few seasons. Surgery was deemed successful, with the team adding that Cook is expected to make a full recovery prior to the start of the regular season. Yeah, he had a medical procedure, but everything's going to be fine. Since that time, it's been crickets. Alexander Madison, he got re-signed, but nothing on Cook scheduled to have a $14 million cap hit for 2023. Last month, according to Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald, there were conversations between the Vikings and Dolphins about a potential Dalvin Cook trade. But after those talks, the Dolphins weren't anticipating anything to come from that anyway. But that could change if, quote, the Vikings decide to do something with him, meaning Dalvin Cook. This comes off as the Vikings being hesitant. Perhaps they got cold feet and didn't want to trade him or still don't want to trade him. And maybe they're not sure that the idea of Cook not being on the team is such a good idea. So trade talks between Minnesota and Miami, that happened in mid-March just a couple of weeks ago, one month after it was announced that Cook has surgery. And as of yesterday, according to Tom Pelissero, Vikings running back Dalvin Cook was recently in Minnesota for a post-surgery checkup on his shoulder and is said to be making excellent progress per sources. Cook played the last three seasons while protecting the injured shoulder, which is now 100% stable and stronger. So if the Vikings weren't sure if they wanted to trade him or not, just going off of what Barry Jackson reported, the Dolphins, they aren't anticipating anything, but that's all up to the Vikings if they decide to do something with him. Then this latest shoulder update, purely speculation here, but it wouldn't surprise me if that came from the camp of Dalvin Cook. His agent, after all, back in February, made an IG story Instagram with a highlight reel of Dalvin Cook with the caption saying, now just picture they actually knew how to call run plays too. Why else would you post that unless you're trying to get Cook traded? As agents are the voice of their clients. Agents typically operate in the public eye in a way that their clients actually feel. It's got Ben Dagra slash Adrian Peterson vibes, except for way less extreme. But as it pertains to the shoulder update, Tom Pelissero said per sources. So didn't specify. And I don't know Jack about Jack, but I can imagine that it certainly gives potential trade partners assurance that would like to acquire the services of one Dalvin Cook. Listen, shoulder surgery or not, he's good. I just hope a resolution can be made here soon, whether he gets traded or you could release him as well, or maybe you go ahead and keep him. But if you do keep him on the team, if you're Minnesota, you got to restructure, especially after re-signing Alexander Madison, because that $14 million cap hit is just not going to fly. But the Dolphins, they're out talking about a potential trade for Dalvin Cook. Because Barry Jackson, he tweeted out the conversation between the Vikings and the Dolphins. That was on March 14th at 11.22 Eastern Standard Time. That same day, three hours later, Jeff Wilson Jr. re-signs with the Dolphins. This also from Barry Jackson, quote, Can confirm Jeff Wilson Jr. re-signs with Miami. Dolphins keep top three running backs intact. Mostert, Wilson, Ahmed greatly diminishes chance of pursuit of big outside name. So if there was potential there, that window has closed in Miami. The next team that makes sense if you're still going to trade him is Buffalo. After that, maybe the Bengals. Your guess is as good as mine. But either way, shoulder stable, getting stronger every day, damn it. And now it's comments time. John Inghauser says, Randy, I feel like you're the only Vikings faithful in the media who gets that championships are won in the trenches, especially if you can't find an elite quarterback. Build from the inside out. Look at the Niners and that Eagles offensive line. Oh my God. This is why we get punched in the mouth every year by elite teams. It's not rocket science. Please draft interior offensive line and defensive line. Don't be tempted by the shiny objects. Amen. And look at further examples beyond that. 
The Detroit Lions, they have one of the better O-lines in the league. On the defensive side of the ball, they drafted Aiden Hutchinson last year. And I wouldn't be surprised if they went D-line again in this upcoming draft early. The Bengals, they're always looking to improve their O-line. The Chiefs in that Super Bowl against the Bucks, that was Brady's first year, if I'm not mistaken, where Mahomes got beat the hell up. They said, no, 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 we can't let this happen again. Let's build up the trenches. And I used to get so worked up talking about the Vikings offensive line every single year. Stop trying to get cute. Let's put some Tonka trucks up front. Well, you know what? We got little smaller athletic guys and zone blocking and they can move out in space and you know what, Mike Remmers, he was kind of decent at right tackle. Let's put him at right guard. Ezra Cleveland, left tackle at Boise State. Let's put him inside. And it, should, it never works out. And the Vikings have the audacity to continue where they left off. So those that are adamant supporters of Kirk Cousins, and we want to give the excuse of, well, fourth and eight, stop blaming Kirk, even though I still do. Well, you know what? He had pressure up front. By who? Dexter Lawrence. Who did he beat? Ezra Cleveland. Well, it looks like that we're going to run it back with Ezra Cleveland at left guard, Garrett Bradbury, who they just re-signed at center, and Ed Ingram. So uh, we have a blocking tight end that's all well and good, but if the offensive line isn't together, it's good in the regular season, but in the playoffs when you're going up against elite teams, as you pointed out, John, you're not going to last. You're not going to have any chance to compete. Far Drive says, in regards to a few of the comments, San Francisco would only be an option if Purdy completely busts. Well, from what I remember, and I could be wrong here, but that elbow injury that Brock Purdy suffered in the NFC Championship game in Philly, if I'm not mistaken, what I last read was that he'll be ready by the start of the season. I could be wrong about that, but the point that I'm getting at here is that if San Francisco is going to be an option... If we're going to say, well, they need to see if Brock Purdy, if he's going to be a bust or not, they're not going to really find out until the season starts. You could say, well, if he's ready by training camp and he doesn't look good, then they say, oh, snap, we got to do something here that's different. But it looks like they're not going to find that out until the regular season. And again, Kirk has a no trade clause. I don't see him agreeing to a midseason trade, Kirk Cousins, to go to another team. You want stability. You want to know where you're going to be at, the system that you're going to run. To agree to a trade to go somewhere else and learn a whole new system and all, I just don't see Kirk agreeing to that. Band of Bauer says, does that mean that he, meaning Kirk Cousins, he will throw for 5,000 yards and over 40 touchdowns? I'm going to say yes. In fact, let, mm, let me temper that just a little bit here. I don't know if he's going to go for over 40 TDs, but I'm going to say he meets that mark. 40 touchdowns exactly in 2023. His career best season up to date in terms of passing touchdowns, 35-2020 with the Vikings. And in terms of passing yards, 2016 in Washington, he threw for over 4,900. So can he throw for at least five more touchdowns and 100 more yards for his career best season overall? I'm going to say yes. I'm with you, Band of Bowers. 5,000 yards, 40 TDs for Kirk Cousins in 2023. 